And where's my um, screen for seeing the chat room? It takes me a second, but okay. they're on. Hi, everybody. They're playing our song. I love doing this. It reminds me of being fourth grade on the playground. And bring it to the street. I'm excited to see my friends. Look down my rainbow. Slide down my cellar door. And we'll be talking. Hi, other king. Forevermore. Say, say, oh, play, may. Come out and play with me. And bring your dollies three. How long can I clap? Look down my rainbow. Slide down my cellar door. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the club. They're playing our song. Everybody's gathering up in the club. We're letting uh, there's a boy here. We'll let him stay for just a minute. Hi everybody. Thank you. They're new. Remember how to do our clapping. <laughs> I noticed that there's a uh, definitely a lapse between that one and that one. Yeah, that's why you look at this one. Hi, Caroline from Australia. He is the warden, Paula. <laughs> Tell Josh we say hi too. <laughs> hi, Cobra Jones. I know, right? I always get I get a little teary eyed inside, a little verklempt when I hear it. It's so emotional. Hello, hello, hello. They're playing our song, so I just felt like we needed to to be reverent for the great. Uh, say say oh playmate <laughs> our our official theme song here in the reset girls crafty club and that also means that spreads out over our um the late night crafty club and camp reset and we are um we are so excited that you're here sorry there's like something going on outside i can hear it and oh it's not my imagination there's actually <laughs> in the driveway. Okay, so I made myself a little list of all these kinds of things that I wanted to chat with you guys about before I dived into my crafting because it has been a minute since I've seen you guys. Let's see. The last time that um, we had a night, late night crafty club, it was back in October, mid-October, and that was an international version. So my American friends and, and some of you were such troopers you showed up and crafted. I was so proud of you. But for the most part, most of you guys slept in. You phoned it in. And that's okay. No judging here. But um, but so it has been a while since we have done a late night crafty club. And there's been all kinds of things that have been happening. So I thought I would be like a little reporter and I would catch you guys up to speed um, about some of the things going on. And <laughs> as soon as we start the show, there's like, there's a ruckus going on outside. So we are parked at a property. Um, it's it's a house that no one's living in. <laughs> it's going to be a house that uh, my dear oh my dear friend and mentor Miss Craig, she is um, the head of a ministry that helps widows. And this property is going to be a basically a sanctuary for widows who recently lost their husbands, and they're going to be welcome to, to live here on the property to help get them through that um, initial grieving process. And um, so right now there's all kinds of people that come to the property and they're all doing work, you know, on a volunteer basis. And um, Mr. Crafty and I are parked here in the driveway. <laughs> and um, it's, it's, it's so cool because there just happens to be you know, a place for us to get electricity and water and all that. So it is so awesome. And I want, the reason why I'm sharing this with you girls is because whether you realize it or not, you contribute to this property. A percentage of our sales 
comes to this property. It's, it's our tithing, basically. And so you are inadvertently supporting this ministry with every sale that you make at the Reset Girl. So some of these widows actually are under the age of 40 and have little kids. Like, I, there's a lot of people, um, I would not have, when I think of widows, I think most of us think of older women, but really uh, there's about a half a million widows under the age of 40 in America, and they have kids. So it, not only are they going through the tragedy, that, that shock of losing their partner and spouse, but then they are suddenly, um, you know, a, a single parent and, and facing a huge change. So, um, it is so, um, it's so awesome that I'm sitting here doing the show here because this is like months in the making of us getting, like knowing we were helping this happen. And it's like for real, it's like really happening. So, um, there will be a time where I will call you ladies into action. I have some really cool, um, craft events planned for us to do things as a community, like a service project that are going to benefit these ladies. So it's a good thing that I'm sharing it with you now because I'm going to mention it again, because I'm going to call, um, call upon your crafting skills and how sweet and encouraging you girls are many times things that we've gone through. Um, challenges that we've faced, things that we've survived enable us, like it just grows our hearts and enables us to really love so hard on other people that are going through it too. So you will be hearing more about this awesome ministry that is called um, Troubleshooting for Christ. And um, this is called the Comfort Cottage, this official property. So it is absolutely stunning here in this part of Texas. I'm right outside of Dallas. So it is a, <laughs> it's a huge difference in temperature. I was just in San Antonio and I get here, it's like I went from summer to winter. <laughs> And now it's creeping back to summer again. It's like, so I had flannel jammies on earlier and I had to change out of them because it was like getting hot. I have the windows open and everything. So um, once again, I'm sitting in a little fishbowl doing the show because <laughs> the windows are all open. So anyone driving by can see a lady sitting in her <laughs> RV in her jammies with the lights all on, um, waving her arms around. So there's that. <laughs> So, but I am so, so happy to see all your little faces. It's so wonderful. So we are going to have um, some fun events coming up. Um, I'm going to go over some of the fun events we just had because, you know, like I said, it's been a while since we talked and I feel like you need to be, um, you know, caught up because being a member of the community, it's important for you to get like, get in touch of like what goes on because whether you realize it or not, Doing the show, doing um, other other um, in my faithful uh, club as well. I'm I want to try to do more of the chapel Sundays. So doing these is really like a, a ministry for us. It's it's much more of my focus and my heart because I really want a the opportunity for you guys to connect in the chat room. So you guys are in here chatting away. It is the biggest benefit to showing up for a live event because you can in real time talk to people from all over the country and in other parts of the world. And a lot of you ladies do not know other ladies in real life that love crafting like you do, that uh, speak the language of washi. <laughs> Some of your friends may not have any idea what washi is, which is a tragedy, but it's true that many of you just don't know people that can speak your love language that way. So that is like the biggest reason. If you are joining us on the uh, Late Night Crafty Club for the first time, this is your first time ever to be live with me, put your hands up because I would love, love, love to see your little face. Um, it's a... It is an honor that you give up part of your, <laughs> your, your, your valuable, precious time to be here in the group with us. And, um, and I, and I love that. I love providing this platform so that you can, because that is, um, that, <laughs> so Autumn says all the time girls my age will say what's washy and Autumn, you're so adorable. I can't believe that your friends don't know what washy is. Cause you are, you're like a tween. So you should like, the, that's like a craft supply at Michael's now where, a few years ago, it didn't exist. So, you, girl, this is your job. You must educate your friends what washi is. Um, so, I am... Hi, Miss Esther. I see your little face. I, I am so glad, Dawn, that you are here, too. 
Um, in your neck of the woods where you and Serenity are, I'm wondering what the temperature is up there in Canada because it, um, it's pretty warm <laughs> down here. I was really excited. I was wearing little furry boots, you know, like a week or so ago and a scarf. I mean, I couldn't tell you how excited I was. All my winter clothes are like down in our basement the basement of our RV. So I was whipping them out as fast as I could as soon as we got here because the temperature got so cold and darn it, it was all, it was, it's all, it's, it's creeping up again. So I'm like, woo. Hi, Michelle. Hello. Hello. Hello guys. It's 58 degrees here. So that does, doesn't sound warm, but whew, <laughs> it is warm. And actually I just got the best gift. My, my, my sweet friend, Kelly Bangs got me a gift when we uh, had a port day when we went on cruising with the Reset Girl, the cruise we went on uh, last month. It is a fan. <laughs> Ole! And I cannot tell you how handy this is. Ladies, when you get into your 40s, you will appreciate a hand fan. That's all I got to say. Keep one in here. So Dawn says it's negative 10 where she is up in Canada. And it's snowing. How many of us are jealous? <laughs> I wouldn't even mind shoveling some snow just to have snow. So, snow. <laughs> just to have that snow. <laughs> so, um, uh, Terry says the Colorado mountains are getting dumped on, but not in town yet. Um, hi, Denise. You're from Northern California, and you are a first-time watcher. Mwah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the club. And I actually am from Northern California myself. I am from the Bay Area in Fremont, and my family still lives. Let's see, my family moved out to uh, Ripon, Modesto. So what part of Northern California are you in? Hopefully not where the horrible fires are. And Sabina says it's two degrees. At 3 p.m. in Germany. And are you proud of me that I remembered your name instead of your little your little uh, Facebook name? I remembered your name. Okay, so um, <laughs> Jackie says, yes, I carry one to feel like a Southern Belle. I do feel very much like a little Southerner right now. Now I get why <laughs> they all have one. <laughs> um, Loretta is asking about the song Say Say O Playmate. That song is sung by Amber McLean. And we actually reached out to her people and we asked for permission to play it for it during our show because we love it so much. And um, they were actually cool with it. They said, sure. So, um, she, yes, she is, she's is she got an awesome voice. I absolutely love her. And every time I hear the song, like Miss Cobra Jones says, it does make you a bit, a bit teary-eyed just because I think about how it how it came about during camp reset and how it was a bonding song it's like we were sitting around the campfire singing it or something that's what it feels like it's like our song <laughs> so um esther says she had to purchase a hand fan too so ladies as we get older and our our hormones and our bodies betray us <laughs> you, <laughs> this is a wonderful uh wonderful uh little handy thing to have because i'm it's sitting here let's see it's at the end of November, heading into December, I'm fanning myself. So Linda Wilson's from Northern California too. Um, that's awesome. Now I have multiple Northern Californians here. Um, and Kristen says she's got Hallmark on the TV and Corey on the iPhone. That sounds like a magical evening, does it not? Um, so let's see. It's 65 degrees in Central Florida. That must. Have, I personally don't think I could. I I would volunteer. To live in a state where like the temperature was always the same. I grew up in San Diego, so I didn't really need a coat. <laughs> I think I I had one once, but I never wore coats and I never needed like boots and I never saw any kind of like snow um, ever. It was just always moderate temperature. And now that I've experienced living in Washington, I am so grateful four seasons. I'm so grateful that you get to see a progression of how God intended our beautiful earth. <laughs> um, so, but a lot of people love warmth. They, they love heat. They like being nice and toasty all the time. I am not one of them. Hey, Tiana. Hey girl. So I probably, um, Tina says God wink is on my list. 
so for those of you who have heard my Godwinks message, um, so I've been getting messaged that you guys are noticing that the Hallmark Channel is airing um, a Godwink Christmas. That show was put together by Squire Rushnell, who is the author of the Godwinks uh, book series. He has a website. So he is the originator of that whole thing. And so he and he is in television. So I was really excited to see that. And I what I saw on Facebook is it's that movie is killing it. Like it's one of the most top rated Hallmark movies of all time or something crazy like that. So um, it is getting played multiple times. I don't happen to have the Hallmark channel because we don't have. Well, we sort of have cable. I think what we are doing right now is we are trying Google TV. So it's possible I could have access to it. I'm not sure. I have to check that out. Um, but Linda says she recorded Godwinks, but hasn't watched it yet. So there's a Godwink Christmas on the Hallmark Channel. Be aware. Okay, so at some point I got to jump into my list here. So Cruising with the Reset Girl happened last uh, month. Over 100 club members all got onto a boat, a carnival cruise, and we sailed down to Mexico together. And I have to tell you, I wasn't quite sure what to expect <laughs> because I've never personally um, gone like, a, a, even like part, I, personally, I, I would not actually do that kind of event on my own. If it, you know, if it weren't for like me hosting it, I wouldn't do that. So, um, because that's, that's how big an introvert I actually am. Uh, so I was really stoked that that many girls decided to come on this cruise and I wasn't sure if I was going to be like a hundred percent every day because I see my battery, my introvert battery seems to fluctuate. Sometimes I can kill it for like a couple days at, you know, strong. And then sometimes I feel like I'm wavering, but I have to tell you that is the most extroverting I've done in my life. And I, I like was a hundred percent every day. It was like, I feel like God like really blessed me. And I have to tell you, it was one of the most fun experiences of my life. And I felt like a lot of the girls that came on the cruise, I mean, it just felt like everybody was having such a wonderful time. We got so many people, Paul and I heard from a lot of cruisers saying, you know, the person that I, I was paired with as my roommate it was awesome. We're going to be friends forever. So many people made really great connections. And a lot of those connections started right here in this chat room. A lot of those connections started right in the Facebook group. That's where they start. And then when you guys get to go out in real life and do an event together, this community has like magic in it. It attracts the most awesome people. And there was, I, I see it more and more um, when I do events now is, is really this really magic sauce <laughs> that, that people just feel like they meet their really good friends and you kind of feel like you know each other and there's just like a really nice comfort level. We, um, we had a lot of fun. A lot of ladies went off to the port days. They got to go to Cozumel and Progresso. And then we had a couple days of like me doing some craft sessions and um, talking about Godwings, which is my favorite thing to talk about ever. And then we capped off the event with an all girl dance party. We had our own disco. We came in our pajamas and it was the most fun. I felt like I was on like the verge of tears the whole time because I don't know about you guys, but my high school years were very, very like painful. I was very alone. I didn't have friends. And so getting to like go on this, have this like dance party, it was kind of like my inner teenager just got, it was like getting loved on and it was like getting healed and it was so much fun. Fun. It was like we were all 16 again. We um, danced to 80s music in our jammies, and it was it was ridiculous fun. And I danced all, the whole time, and I was so sore <laughs> for like the next three days. So I'm very out of shape, is what I I realized. But um, I was so excited to share that 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 experience with everyone and that we were just having a great time. And there were plenty of girls that brought their craft supplies. They were encouraged. This was an introvert friendly dance party, which may have been the very first of its kind. I would like to think so. Um, so there was a lot of girls that just enjoyed just sitting and talking and watching a lot of us dance. And it was really comfortable and fun. And you did, it was like the least awkward social gathering ever. I, I just thoroughly loved it. So, um, that's what we got to do. 
And, um, and then a couple weeks later with our glamping event in Round Top, Texas, this is where we have it at the Lone Star, the Lone Star Glamp Inn. And it's the lovely location with all the little vintage trailers. So that was like two weeks later, we met up there, another group of, um, community members met there. I got to meet Miss Claudia and it was a, uh, <laughs> It was a lot of fun. Again, another adventure where club members are getting to meet each other and interact with each other. And so I say all that because if you see me talk about a, an event coming up and we have more coming up in 2019, this is something worth attending. This is something worth going to. The events that we do are meant to be like heart to heart connections. They're meant to be special and, and this community is special. So if you're ever on the fence about doing something like a little more bold and like really getting out there and meeting some, um, meeting, a, meeting people and, and having this adventure in these really fun locations, like there's nothing like the Glamp Inn. It, like the Lone Star Glamp Inn is amazing. Um, so we will be having more events there. In fact, the next event we are having at the, the uh, Lone Star Glamp Inn is going to be in March and it's going to be a self-care glamping event. So we're going to do self-care stuff. And, um, and I'm really excited about it. I was thinking it when we were sitting there and I was thinking, you know, I want to do this again, but like change it up and make it a little different, make it feel like a little bit more like a camp reset experience. So that's going to be happening in March of 2019. The full details will be coming to the website. Um, the crafting abroad with the reset girl, the Japan adventure, it sold out. I'm, I posted it once in the Facebook group. I think it went out in one of my newsletters. We wanted to keep the group nice and small so it was intimate, but we're going to do a stationary tour. Um, we're going to the Traveler's Notebook Factory. We're going to go to Tokyo Disney. Um, and we're going to do a private bus tour of Tokyo. And so that's happening in, in April, and it, it sold out recently. So um, I'm super excited. I can't tell you. I'm obsessed with going to Japan now. I think about it like every day. It's going to be so amazing. And I will make sure to take lots and lots of pictures and try. I would, you know what? Wouldn't that be amazing if I could do a live video there? I don't know if it's possible. I don't know if people do live videos from Japan, but I will certainly, um, I will certainly look into it because that would be fun to share that with you guys, but be rest assured. I will take lots of video too, so that we can, um, see you guys so that you guys can see what we're seeing. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. I need a break. I need to take a sip. My mouth is drying out. <laughs> mm. Hey, Miss Tanya. How you doing, girl? I have not seen your face in so long. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I bet you are enjoying um, the beautiful weather <laughs> back home. <laughs> okay, um, let's see here. So now we're in DeSoto, Texas, which I told you I get to see Miss Craig every day. She is um, my, she's been kind of like, a, she's been a lot of things to me. So she's kind of, she's my spiritual mentor. She's been helping me uh, with like just getting more um, focused when it comes to business and not just business, but doing it God's way. I should say it. I should say it that way. And I think being here on the property, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, what this property signifies, this kind of really like locks it in for me mentally. It's like, now I really know what we're, what we're helping, what we're doing, what, what our community is doing. This is like amazing. I mean, when we come back here next year, there will be, the house will be finished and there will be ladies living here and getting loved on and getting healing. And it's going to be so awesome. And we're, we're all contributing to that. Um, when you make a purchase through our store. So that has been awesome getting to spend time with her in real life. She is just a blessing. She is really tiny too. Like I'm five, three, I'm not tall, but she's like way shorter than me. So she makes me feel big, but she's very petite. And she's a, uh, if you guys have ever seen the movie, the war room, that's exactly who I, I swear they modeled Miss Clara's character after her. She talks like her. She's forceful like her. She's, you know, very petite. She looks like, you know, she, she looks like someone who's just like really sweet, but she's got one of those little like get it done attitudes. So, <laughs> so I love it. Um, okay. 
Sorry, taking a sip. Esther and Kelly, Tanya's on. I can see that Esther sees that Tanya's on the on the live. And Linda just asked me if I'll be posting a calendar. So if you go on the resetgirl.com forward slash, I think it's, is it events or calendar, Mr. Crafty? If you could help me out there. Hopefully he'll answer because <laughs> I can't remember. I We've changed the name. It's been calendar and it's been events because I have never really been able to like nail that down. But yes, it is on our website. And thank you, uh, Mr. Crafty, for posting that. And hi, Michelle Spencer. Hey, girl. Um, so there you go. So Linda right there in the group, or I'm sorry, in the chat, it got posted. So it is forward slash calendar. So I try to go in there and update it. So the things that are not quite on there yet are the glamping. Um, and we're also going to be doing a wonderfully made weekend, I believe in February. And I believe in Tennessee, but it is not on the calendar just yet. Because I don't put things on there until they're like in writing, done deal. So, but everything else is, is on there. And, uh, hi, Shelly Vaughn. Um, and I will be in Northern California again. I plan on returning, coming back through Northern California in March and April. And then we will be spending our whole summer in Washington, which I'm excited for because it is the coolest part of the country <laughs> in the summertime. So that's where I will be. So last weekend, uh, Mr. Crafty and I did something very uh, unusual for us. We actually like left the RV. We got out <laughs> on our own <laughs> voluntarily. Um, and we went to a couples retreat for goal setting. It was a goal setting couples retreat. So about 200 couples went to this um, place in Austin. It was very, very much that I would imagine it Austin would be like. It was like very hipster. It was a very, um, a very cool venue. 200 of us there to learn how to how to plan our you know plan out goals as a team as a couple. And the, I think one of the biggest reasons why I was really motivated to go is because a not only like a to get our own lives like on track um, and just kind of. I'm, I love goal setting so much, you guys. Oh, you have no idea. It is it is the heart of the reset girl. Like my mission and purpose telling you guys it's never too late to reset your life. Well, resetting is a process. And me personally, I re reset three major areas of my life like all together, all like simultaneously, which most people would say, don't do that. That's crazy. But I was kind of like at a point where I had nothing to lose. I'd already lost everything. So for me, it was about survival. It was about building myself up from, you know, the, the ground floor. So I love hearing what other people do and suggest for goal setting and the people putting on the event were from, are from the one thing, which is a best selling book. It is co-authored by Gary Keller. Gary Keller is one of the founding members of Keller Williams. Uh, which you guys know as a real estate firm. They are the largest and most successful real estate company in the world. So yeah, I'm kind of interested in what they think about goals. <laughs> yes, yeah, somebody that successful in life? Yes, please. And I come from a, a real estate, oh, the world of real estate too. I've I spent um, several years working in it. My mother was an agent. So I'm very familiar with, they are very um, very goal oriented, very success oriented. So it was really interesting to hear that. And, and Mr. Crafty and I have such a unique business that we were sort of the anomaly. Everybody there were like, um, they were like, like, I don't want to say legit business cause we're a legit business, but they were like, it, like, what do you call that word? I'm saying the word like a million times here. Um, Oh, forgive me, my friends. I can't think of what I'm trying to say investors, like real estate investors, um, entrepreneurs, you know, people who really know what they're doing <laughs> instead of people like me who kind of stumbled accidentally into it and then try and figure out what to do once they're there. So, um, it was a lot of fun. And here's what me and Mr. Crafty discovered. Unlike a lot of the people who were there, who were very, who are very successful in life, we actually have the exact same goals as individuals, we are exactly on the same page in every way when we started going down, you know, the whole going through the process. So that was really cool. A lot of couples there 
were at odds with each other because they each had, you know, personal goals and, and things that they were trying to do. And, and yet here, Mr. Crafty and I are like, yeah, we have the same personal goals and, you know, and then we share, share, we're very intertwined in our business. We could not do this, do this without the other, like, you know, I, it may appear as if I am, you know, the star of the show, but really Mr. Crafty makes so much of this possible. I can't even tell you. He's like the little wizard <laughs> behind the scenes. And, um, so it is, uh, a really, it's really great that, um, that we could sit there and, and go through that and find out that we were on the same page. And that just made us feel really good about the whole thing. And, we both got very excited about what we learned and a big part of what we learned is what I'm going to carry into the retreat that we will be doing for the winter. Um, I will be offering um, the winter retreat, which we've talked about. I've been telling you guys for a while that we're going to have a winter camp and this is the part where I got myself all set up to share this with you and then I'm like, I don't remember where I put it. <laughs> So he said this one thing, one of the uh, speakers said, no one has trouble setting goals, but people have trouble staying in touch with their goals. And for whatever reason, I've, I mean, I took pages of notes, people, pages, like I'm a professional note taker, but that was so profound to me what he said. And it was so profound. It was like, it literally made me sit up straight and it literally in like the next second, I had the name of the retreat. I have been calling it winter camp for a while because I couldn't settle on the name. I couldn't, to me, the name has to be special. Everything I do, like all the things that I offer, everything has to be special. I can't just be like, look here, here's a product. I, it needs to mean something. And so him saying that it really clicked. Something clicked for me in those words. And so I, um, I, came up with the name of our winter retreat. So we are going to be um, offering you guys a retreat called Dating Your Goals. For those of us who start out our goal setting, we get real excited in the beginning and we set those goals and then we don't finish them. What I want to do is encourage you and help you create a relationship with your goals like you would if you were dating, right? When you start dating, you start to get to know each other and you become invested in that person. You find out if you're a good fit, all that, right? So dating your goals, I want you guys to look at it that way. And I want you to make it to the end of the finish line because when I took a poll in the group and just a small amount of people answered it versus how many thousands of people are in the group, but still it's it always gives me a little read on things. And what most people are concerned with is the motivation to complete their goals. And I get that. That's just human nature. Most of us are, life is going to get in our way. So what I want to do is I want to help us create this kind of environment that will make it very encouraging, give you accountability and help you get to the finish line. So at this point in the whole planning process, and I know a lot of people love getting um, details. I don't have a lot of details for you yet because I'm still in the development process. Um, but I assure you I'm giving this oodles of thought because I'm really thinking about you guys every day and what you're going to need to get through this. And I, and I, this is going to not be like, so camp reset is fun. It's summer camp. We're going off. We <laughs> doing self care. This this one, Dating Your Goals, it's going to be a little bit more like work. I've got to be honest with you guys. So this is this is going to be more like work. So therefore, it needs to have its own fun element. It needs to be fun to make you guys like really, you know, get in there and want to work. And so I think in our community, I think this could be a wonderful way for us to really bond and help us help us get over to the finish line. So we are still working out details, the cost, um, the duration the the website itself just like you guys have access to the camp reset um we want to give you guys you know the website but i think what we want to do is introduce a forum platform and not just have a pretty like you know the facebook group i want to do more than that it's very hard for you guys to have really meaningful conversations in there so we, we're looking into a forum 
platform so that you guys can actually have conversations, find each other, be able to create like, hey, this group, we want to have a group of, of campers that are really focused on our financial goals, that kind of thing. So this will become a community within the community, if you will. So I can share with you that this is going to be, there it is. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to hold it so you can see it. Okay. <laughs> I'm holding it up backwards. Part of the problem is my camera I'm using is, <laughs> it's not even. I'm trying to hold this so it can fill in the, okay. So this is going to be a goal achieving adventure with the reset girl. Um, and I have to tell you guys, we are stepping up our game. So I know how much you guys loved camp reset. And so this time around, I wanted, um, our website to feel different, to make it even more interactive, make you feel like you're at camp. So I submitted this little sketch to our fantastic illustrator. And so you will be seeing this again um, because you're going to actually be at this village. This is Reset Village, and this is where we will be um, holding our summit, the Dating Your Goals Summit. So this is how you will interact on the website. So <laughs> isn't that fun? That's just a little sneak peek of my little scratchy doodles. Um, I assure you what she created, um, I saw it today, um, it is absolutely amazing. And it's how I want you guys to feel when you log on is I want you to feel like it's magical. I want you guys to feel like I need to log in and do my work on my goals. I need to get the next step in helping me um, to stay, you know, to flirt with my goals, to go on dates with my goals. <laughs> When, we, when things aren't going well with us, we'll do some counseling. Like these goals need to be, you know, your best friends, your partner. You're, you know, you're going to get to the end of the, the finish line with these goals and, and succeed. So I, I definitely am trying to make this a, an adventure for you and not just, oh, these are things I have to do. Because there were so many things that they shared at that retreat. But at the end of the day, what I, my biggest takeaway was that goals should they should transform you. You should look different after you've achieved them. If it's really a, a, a true goal, something impactful and powerful, you're going to be a different person. And that's the thing that I want to help you cling to and keep, keep your eyes on the prize. So there's a lot of people who talk about goal setting, especially at this time of the year, and you guys are going to get inundated with goals, goals, goals. But um, I am trying to build something unique and special and meaningful. So I'm hoping that this is going to be um, life changing. So my my goal, <laughs> the irony, um, is for it to be launching towards the end of December, which I know is around Christmas time. So this perhaps could be a great gift to ask for from your hubby if you have one. Um, to start, you know, putting something away, but it will be something that you don't have, you don't have to do it in a live format. Like, if, like right now, if you wanted to go sign up for Camp Reset, you have access to the website and all the videos that we did, all the material is there. So it, it'll be something you can come and work on at your own pace. You don't even have to have a Facebook account to, to, you know, do either camp. And that's what I'm trying to do. These are, these should be standalone events too, because I often don't get to do events in, in a live format. I miss a lot of the live content and I'm okay with that. Now I know I put a lot of work into these live events so that they do make you want to <laughs> be part of them. I get that, but I do want you to be aware that you don't have to, um, participate in anything live. That's not going to prevent you from getting amazing, uh, content. So that is my goal is to make that amazing and that I plan on it will be live on January 1 so that you'll be able to just come into camp and it's going to be a different experience. I'm going to make it as simple as it is humanly possible <laughs> to to get into camp and, and start, you know, doing what you need to do. So I um I'm excited to offer this. I'm hoping that most of you will sign up for it um, and give it a shot because one of the things 
that I know about myself is that being the reset girl has been the most important thing that I've ever, ever done in my life. What I didn't just arbitrarily give myself that name. I changed my career. I changed my love life. I changed my, um, my health, everything in one swoop, um, at, at that time. And I, I look back now at the person I was, and I feel like I'm light years away from that, from what I was. All the things that I went through to get there, that's what I've been trying to share as the reset girl here. But now it's just going to be a much bigger and better platform to do it in. Um, so what we've been doing this last week is we've been celebrating Mr. Crafty's birthday week. Um, I decided last year that Mr. Crafty is such an awesome husband that he deserves a whole week for birthday. I know some people have birthday weeks, so I decided that's what he deserves. So Mr. Crafty's birthday week has been going on. So that <laughs> that's the, what we've been doing around here is, um, and that can be as simple as like, he gets to pick everything we watch, like all the movies we watch, he gets to pick them. Um, that kind of thing. Cause he never, he never he, he's not really a big TV watcher, so he never asks to watch things. So that I can give him, right? <laughs> That's an easy thing. So um, that is, uh, aw, thanks, Mr. Crafty. I love how you're the reset girl, though, so I'm just kind of <laughs> congratulating myself there. Um, yay, Sarah Lewis, your, birth, your son's birthday is today. Uh, so another fun thing um is that we met with a nutritionist today. Miss Miss Craig hooked us up with um, her nutritionist and he is a bomb. So he has he like um he works with all kinds of people. Um he actually apparently he did he cooked for Priscilla Shire while she was filming the movie War Room. He was taking care of like cooking for her family and for her. Um so basically he just he's like so hands on. So he came over here to do an assessment with us and then we're getting up tomorrow morning and we're going to meet him at Whole Foods and he's going to go shopping with us and teach us how to shop Whole Foods in a way that a you'll actually save money versus a regular grocery store and show you like really great products that you can use to replace your sweetener your salt and all that stuff so his philosophy is awesome he's not following a program or anything he's just teaching you how to make better choices how to make swaps how to how to if you know mr craft and i love to eat it's like our downfall so he just people like us who want to eat a lot he will create he's created recipes that you can eat a lot of it and um and i'm so down for that so whatever that is he's gonna um, go shopping with us we're gonna come back here and then he's gonna cook for us a week worth of food We've been at, like, we've talked about this so many times that like if we knew someone that could do that, we would totally pay them to do that because our health, our nutrition is horrible and it's the one area like that we struggle with the most in our life and the one goal, like one of the biggest goals we have for next year is our health. This year I made a lot of progress by sticking to my, my no meat and I've, I've done it. Um, so now this is like, we need to go another level and we need to do some things. So that's going to be my personal goals to work on for the dating your goals. So everything I share with you guys and teach you guys and talk to you guys about with dating your goals, I'm going to be doing it too. And I'm going to be in the forum too. And I'm going to say, Hey, who want, you know, I need an accountability group too. I need to be able to say, um, you know, here's, here's where, here's where I've gotten, gotten off the track. And I even got, I bought this for myself, uh, few weeks ago like a month ago is I invested in the little ionic Fitbit so so far these have been my <laughs> two greatest purchases for my health but um and the other thing I purchased for myself is I got myself a new TN which I have not gotten a TN in years so this is like my first one in a long time and so I'm going to take this and it's going to become my new kind of like health, my new life, my new vision of myself, my new healthy Corey. Um, this whole TN is going to be dedicated to that. That is my plan. So I'm going to put like my, the things I eat, like an eating diary and, you know, track my progress and stuff like that in here. So, um, yeah, so I, I, when, when she offered to introduce us to him, I was like, yes, this, this has to happen. Um, this can be our Christmas present to each other and he was, he's so reasonable. I can't believe he can, he charges so little. Um, but we, 
we are so excited to have this chance to, to, to do things better so that you're looking at a smaller reset girl <laughs> next year. <laughs> That's the goal. Um, okay. So I wanted to just share with you guys a, f a couple funny things. So you guys know how much I love home goods. Um, I ran in there. Here's one of my new little Christmas decorations. I got myself this cute vintage little pink Christmas deer and this cute little piece for my wall. Um, <laughs> I thought this was so cute. So I thought, uh, yes, Patty, it is a cheek sparrow and it is the creme. Oh, is it? Is it? Yes, it is a creme brulee. Thank you. Okay. So anyway, here's my little deer, my little reindeer games. This is something I can hang on the wall and this is pretty small. He doesn't take up much space. So I, I grabbed him. He was like, I don't know, $7, but I thought he was just, it goes so perfectly with my little Christmas tree. I have a little two foot white tree. So I thought that was, that was a must. And then this is a little, <laughs> this is a little bird. I have another one of these. It's wearing a scarf. This is wearing a little puff, a little puffy vest. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> I could not resist this one. How ridiculous cute is this little vest? So, and it has a little a little knit hat. So I absolutely, I had to have it. I tried to walk away from it, but please. And Autumn, love of deers plus pink equals perfection, she says. And I agree. So here's my little puffy vest uh, bird that will go with the other one. Um, also from Home Goods. So those were my three little Christmas ornamenty things um, that I got from Home Goods. And then and then I went to a craft, one of those craft, um, I went to the Bernie Handmade Market. All the Bernie babes online are going to be like, squee! So down in uh, Bernie, Texas, they have this amazing market. Everything's handmade. Um, very A lot of Christmas stuff. So I got these adorable little, um, the little, what do you call these? The little embroidery hoops. So it's a little embroidery hoop art. And this one says, why am I not able to hold this properly? Okay, baby, it's cold outside and it's embroidered. I just thought that was so cute. And then these ones are, whoop, these ones are two little birds that are embroidered. So I have three windows in here. So each of these is gonna hang on a window right here. And Rhonda says she's on a no spin. Her husband impounded her credit card. <laughs> I'm going to go, I, I've been um, doing some research on YouTube. I've, I have found this amazing channel. And so she was talking about having a no spend week, you know, to practice having a no spend month. Cause I don't think I could do a month. Um, cause I know myself, it'll just be like little things I'll do. And she says, that's the number one thing that you end up losing a lot of your money is the little onesie twosie things. So I'm going to try a no spend week put myself on a freeze for a week and I'm going to see if I can just kind of like work up to it <laughs> so I can be better with not doing little things like that. And yes, Elaine asked if I got those from Laura Dodson and yes, I did. Um, yum, yum, yum. Okay. I'm working down my list, girls. I just wanted to hit everything. I just wanted to, I don't know, I thought it would be fun to give you guys a little update on everything. So here are my current obsessions. I have two obsessions. One of them is this. <laughs> um, I don't like lotion. I never have. I don't like the feeling on your skin. Um, but this lotion is a gel cream, and it is amazing. I love this stuff so much. It smells so good to me. It's so clean smelling. And Neutrogena has this whole line of the Hydra Boost products. I have like the lip product and I have a, a face serum and I have this. And if you um, were going into winter now and your skin needs to be hydrated, I have always been very lazy when it comes to stuff like that. But believe it or not, on my self-care goals was becoming better at skincare and especially moisturizing. I'm not good at that. But as you get older, you're going to start regretting <laughs> that you didn't start sooner. So I have now been much more on top of this. So I wanted to um, make a suggestion 
Uh, if you have not tried this type of product, it is fabulous. It's so light and it smells delicious. And then the other thing that I got recently that I'm obsessed with is I got the new iPhone. I had an Android and it was getting to the point where I don't know what was going on with it. And I originally bought it. It was a Samsung 7. I got it because at the time it had a much better camera than the iPhone I had. So that I was like on Instagram constantly, right? So that's why I upgraded. And two years later, the, it was the phone and I were just on the outs. We were, it was time to break up. So I decided to come back to the iPhone family. I am so glad that I did. So I have the new iPhone, the 10 XS. And I specifically bought the clear, a clear case for it because, and this is a big reason why I'm sharing this with you, is I want to start offering artwork with honeys for this little back of the phone. I know that the iPhone is a very, very popular phone. This is the max size. So this is the larger one. And then there's like the smaller one. So this is something I wanted to share with you that I was going to be, um, I personally am going to start having, um, iPhone type artwork, like not iPhone artwork, artwork made for your, your phone. So you could literally just cut it out and then put the clear case over it and then it would be protected. So I'm going to actually like craft it by hand first just to test it out. And then I was going to have it, um, designed so we could have some fun reset community <laughs> artwork made, um, which would be super fun. Right. Uh, and then, uh Oh, I'm talking so long on my phone, actually my phone, my laptop went to sleep cause I'm sitting here for so long. Okay. So the other fun thing I bought for next year is I have not ever seen one of these. And when I saw, I saw it and I fell in love, it is a little Moleskine planner and it's the hardback and it's a pocket size. So they have this daily diary slash planner. It's a little pocket size one with the little strappy and look how cute it has a layout like that inside it. So I am going to use this. Um, I, I'm trying to decide between two uses for it. I was thinking what I want to do is use it for memory keeping. There are so many things that happen on a daily basis that are like little things, big, you know, sometimes our life is not made up of these big grand events that we do, but it's just like little things, funny things. Mr. Crafty and I crack each other up all the time saying funny things. And I wish, I'm, I always think I'm going to remember them and I never do. I always forget them. So I was just thinking that something small like this would make it easy to toss in my bag and that I could just kind of like make a bullet list of what happened today so that when I eventually get around to doing any sort of memory keeping, I have a really great reference. So I was thinking it could be anything and everything, just like what we ate at the restaurant, like, cause we do go out fairly often and I could just say, this is what I ate. Was it good or not? No. Yes. Um, just, just the minutia of life. I just thought this was so precious. I just love the size of it. Um, the other thing I thought about using it for is just my to-do list, my daily thing, because I have learned, especially after doing that goal setting retreat, that there is just way too much stuff on people's to-do lists. There's really only so much you can do. And a lot of times, a lot of the stuff we think we need to do isn't really the important things at all. So I was thinking maybe that would be a good lesson to train myself into just having a smaller list of what is absolutely essential to get done and then using a planner of this size <laughs> actually makes sense. So I, I haven't decided yet. Um, it could be a combination of both really, but I just, it is so adorable. I love it so much. Um, it comes in a variety of colors and the color I really wanted, they, it said that it wouldn't, I couldn't, wouldn't be able to get my hands on it until next month. And we will be moving on to Tennessee. So I had to go ahead and, and settle for the black, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, like spruce it up and I'm going to put a honey on it and some scrapbook paper. So I'm actually going to embellish it. So it's not so plain. Um, and I just pulled out my crafty, um, commonplace book tonight. So it's kind of like I have the mama and the baby <laughs> of, of my books that I also want to, uh, embellish and do something with. So I've got all these little, little things I want to 
work on. So, um, and then the last thing I wanted to show, oh, other thing I want to show you is, so this is the planner I have been using on a daily basis. This is from Fringe Studio. Y'all know how much I love Fringe Studio. They make the most amazing notebooks ever. Um, to find a Fringe Studio notebook, the easiest thing to do is shop at a TJ Maxx or a Home Goods, and they have them for such a fantastic price. Um, you can find them in other stores. I have actually bought a Fringe Studio notebook on papersource.com for twice the price at TJ Maxx. I wouldn't recommend it. But this little planner, which is about the size, like an A5 size, is $7.99. So I just loved it. It's like the perfect size. It's very compact. It has a little um, November, like, at a glance, and it has your goals and your the birthdays and all of that. So these kind of little planners, I still see these all the time when I go, because I always go to those stores to go, like, take a look. Um, so I have been using it, and I've been decorating it. <laughs> um, not a lot. I honestly, I feel like a lot of times this is about as much planning as I need to do is just like a monthly spread. Uh, because when I work dive, like go dive deep on projects like winter camp, it's like, that's all I do every day. So I end up with a lot of blank pages because I'm not really writing everything down. So I don't know, but I just thought this was such a cool little planner. The size of it is awesome. So if you happen to see one, you want to try out a new planner, it was a, a very inexpensive planner to test that out on and then the only thing else that I got here is I got a brand new Bible um I love love me a study Bible so I decided I wanted to kick off 2019 with a new Bible that I could highlight and note take in and I'm just gonna like become more of a studier this year I feel like this year I was a reader and next year I, I want to try to make this more of a um more of a uh, uh, priority. And I took out a scripture too. Many plans are in a man's heart, but the Lord's decree will prevail. So we might think that we make a lot of plans for ourselves, but really at the end of the day, the Lord's plan for you is what's going to happen. So um, anyway, I got that the day before yesterday and I was so excited that I have a planner. Um, wait, but I have a Bible. That's what I meant to say. Okay. So in other word, uh, other news, um, Tracy Claiborne and I have uh, taped a bunch of um, First Love Club episodes for like the rest of the year, and we did it all at once. And I have to tell you, they were like awesome shows, some of the best things we've ever talked about. So one of them is going to be about your word for the year and choosing that word for the year. So I was just curious, how many of you guys have actually chosen a word for the year so far? And I wanted to throw this out there. One of the things that I, I researched and found, um, my one word.org was a fantastic resource. I've mentioned them several times over the last few years. And when I talk about this subject and one of the things that they promote is when you pick your word for the year, that you're picking a word based on who you want to become. Like what kind of, what kind of person or character do you really admire and respect? Like, and I use the Bible. I think they even suggested using the Bible, like pick, pick a character in the Bible that you really look up to that you would call, like would say that could be your mentor, you know, like Joseph or David or um, Mary, Martha. So then when you got that person, in your mind of who you'd like really want to become like make a list of all their characteristics what what are they like and then when you have that list pick a word from that list let this word be more than just like a description or a mood for your year but let it be something that you really want to become like because when you want to become like something like there's a little bit of effort and work in that and I was thinking about it is that can really dovetail so beautifully with your dating your goals because part of that is becoming something it's, it's becoming, um, you know, what the, what I decided the tagline for the dating your goals is it's falling in love with who you want to become. So this, these characteristics are not things you already have. It's things that you're trying to be, be like, and that could be absolutely life-changing. So I just wanted to throw that out there in case you have not chosen a word yet. And you want to think about that that this could truly be a meaningful word that could change you as a person for the better. So perhaps not picking a word that just sounds good, like peace, 
you know, unless that is something that you don't feel you are, that you don't, you are not a peaceful person. That's not something in your life. That's, you got to work towards that. It's not just something you, it's not a passive thing. Picking a word for the year could be this kind of like goalpost that you're working towards on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. So food for thought, some deep thinking during the late night crafty club. Finally, I would like to do a little shout out to, um, uh, my friend Betty who came on the cruise with us mentioned that her twin daughters, Emma and Caitlin watched the show with her. And I know that a lot of, of you have mentioned that your kids sometimes watch the show that I've heard really adorable stories of people I get to meet in real life will, will share that, you know, how their kids will watch with them and even their pets, <laughs> sometimes their husbands. And so I just wanted to, uh, to, to say hello to Miss Caitlin and Emma and all of the young club members who spend time actually watching these videos with your mom and perhaps that, you know, I, we just don't realize how many of you are actually watching. I know Miss Autumn is in the, the club tonight and, um, the most adorable little preteen you'll ever meet. Um, and, and it's a joy to know that you guys are so interested in this and that you're getting your crafty on too and that you're interested in cultivating a crafty life because that is really important. We are all grown women <laughs> trying to like reverse ourselves and trying to do that, trying to be more like a kid again and just have fun with our art supplies. So, you know, you, you younger club members, it's fantastic that you do this and I'm so proud of you for, for wanting to, and it's a wonderful way to spend time with your mom. So I am, I'm, hello, you are welcome to be here. We are very excited that you're here. Um, uh, Maisha says that her daughter's listening too. Hello, Miss Maisha's daughter. Um, so if you guys, um, one of the things that I have mentioned in the past that we used to do was the, the junior listers got a list. And I know that we have a back, like a backlog of them. And I think that one of the things that I want to do for our younger uh, club members is make the Listers Got a List Junior Edition available to download so that you guys can work on something, work on a little junior Listers book while you craft with your mom. So you have something to work on all the time when she comes and does this. So I'm just throwing that out there, young club members. So, um, hi, Lisa. Hello, hello. <laughs> So, uh, we are finally at the point at which I'm ready to craft. <laughs> I've done enough chit chatting, I think. Um, and so I would like to think that while I'm doing all this chatting, you guys are crafting or talking one of the two. Um, uh Oh, I hear Mr. Crafty approaching. Didn't you say you're going to start crafting? I am, but I didn't necessarily mean that you have okay. to, um, you okay. Okay. So, Last, a couple weeks ago, I did a chapel crafting with Miss Paula, and what I did was I crafted at the desk, and I just kind of held up as I finished each step, and kind of held up what I did. So I'm curious if that is something you guys would be interested in me doing, or would you rather have the camera turn and just come straight down on my desktop, and we won't see each other anymore, but you'll be able to watch whatever I'm doing. Um, and this is something I learned from this, which I would never have thought out. The reason why I'm asking this is what I, some of the feedback I got from that was the girl said, I actually liked it better that you didn't have the camera down, that you were just talking and showing us periodically because then I didn't feel like I was missing anything and I was able to craft like it kind of really, it kind of released you from the FOMO. <laughs> Because you're crafting and I'm crafting. And then once in a while, I'll say, hey, so here I am. So I'm just throwing that out there uh, that you, it does, I can definitely see the benefit of, of not sitting there focusing on what I'm doing so that you can craft along with me. So Elaine's been crafting too. Oh, Kesia says the kids in our children's mist. You love making lists. I need to work on that more. And I would love to make list prompts for kids in the faithful club too, so that they can do that too with their moms. Um, so camera on desktop, Larissa says love either way. Um, Mamie says camera down. Jill says camera down. Maisha says I like both. 
Autumn's both. Tess is camera down. Beverly says take camera down. Hi, Allison, watching from Washington. Um, Sarah says to, uh, Sarah says either way. Kathy says they want to see what I'm doing. Camera on desk to see the process. All right, well, okay. So you guys don't want to see my face no more. Whatevs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I will. I'll go straight down. Um, but you know what? I just realized something. Just when you guys thought I was done. Um, actually what I'll do, I'll do is I'll move the camera down and then I'll show you. But, um, what I had said earlier when I posted that we were going to be doing late night crafty club is I have a little sneak peek of sparkle, our new collection. And also I just realized I didn't share another exciting thing with you. If you missed it today, I posted in the group that next Saturday, December 1st, we are going to be doing eight hours of live videos starting at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Every hour on the hour, we'll be doing a new live video session with, I believe, six of our creative team members and myself, plus two special guests. Next Saturday, it's called A Very Crafty Christmas. Yes, Very, cra very Crafty Christmas live event. So we're going to be doing that and every hour we'll be um, switching it up. So there'll be a new craft every hour with the girls. They all picked out like super fun little things for you guys to do. They're based on the sparkle printables that will be released on Monday, one day early because we are having a Cyber Monday sale. Um, it's a state, statewide, <laughs> it's a storewide sale um, except for the brand new collection, but everything else will be on sale. And then Sparkle actually has some, um, really cool, uh, add-on products this time around, something, some fun things for the holidays. And, um, and just to remind you that a percentage of all of our sales goes to the widow's ministry that we support. Um, so what you, when you purchase, you are directly supporting and helping women who are in a deep grieving process and oftentimes don't have an income because they lost their hubby. Um, they are suddenly a single parent and they're navigating all kinds of things that they never thought they would be doing. So that is what will be happening here at the Comfort Cottage where we are parked. If you were late joining us, um, that's actually what we are at. <laughs> so December 1st is going to be the very crafty Christmas event starting at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And then every hour on the hour will be a new craft. Now, all of the live videos will be gathered up. You can go to our website and watch them later. If you're not able to join live or you miss any of them, you can always catch the replay. They will all, all the girls will have a chat room just like we do here. So you can ask a question. Um, now, I will tell you that not all of them are like, they're not used to doing live videos. So that will be kind of fun. And for you to come out and support them and be supportive of their like, mad skills and crafting. They could run circles around me. <laughs> it's very, it's really funny when I look at some of the things my team does and I'm just like, dang, I never even would have thought of making that. So, and I love that. I love watching people make stuff with my, with our products. It's just, it's really inspiring. So that's going to be happening. We thought it would be a really fun event. We wanted to do something um, really remarkable for this collection and to really do something fun for the community. So the whole event is free. You just need to show up. So mark off that on your planner for next Saturday that we will be having an amazing event. This will be a great time to get your snacks, get, get fun jammies, um, and beat jammies all day. That should be the hashtag for the event. <laughs> jammies all day. Um, and that is, I will actually be in Dallas. I will not be here doing my, my, um, my event, my session. I'm actually going to be at a craft little crafting retreat with Miss Paula and Larissa. So when you see us, come on, I will have guests and I will be getting my crafty on in a crafty retreat environment. So I like be in the flow and I'm going to be making honey ornaments so that you can put honeys on your Christmas tree. <laughs> Because who doesn't want honeys on their Christmas tree? So, uh, because I've talked so much, I will probably end up extending my show tonight. So there's a bit more crafting and a little less yapping. Um, but, you know, we haven't seen each other in a long time. So I felt like you needed to get back into the, um, into the know what was going on. So, um... 
what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. I need to have this, 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 and this. Okay. So what I thought I was going to do, I'll just show you. I'll, I'll hold it up. When I get my craft crafting on, I'm going to show you guys a couple pieces from the sparkle collection. Not the whole thing. Trust me. Just a few things, but I'm going to be doing, um, a couple crafts using honeys. So I got this really cool clipboard at home goods last year. I got two of them and I absolutely love this. It's wood. It's been, um, varnished and it has this awesome cool chevron pattern. And I actually added a command strip on the back of it so I can attach it to my wall here in the RV and I use it to like clip things on. So I've always wanted to do it to finish this and I never have. So tonight's the night I'm doing it. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do these kind of like fun little inexpensive gifts that you could make for other people or for your craft room or for your kids is that you could make something like this. So home goods specifically does have different fun clipboards at, from different, at different times. Um, I've, I know Hobby Lobby does too. And then you could just get a standard plain old clipboard from Walmart for just like, I think under $2. So this could be an actual Christmas gift you could make. So I just wanted to give you, um, a couple ideas about doing that. So I grabbed one of my vintage magazines that I bought on eBay and I'm going to snip. Okay. I already snipped one honey out. So I have like this big honey and I typed up in Word a question for myself. Who do you want to become? And this is something I want to look at like every week when I'm planning, I want to see this on my wall. So I decided that I'm going to, um, using two simple tools, <laughs> some matte medium and a paintbrush. I'm going to get this little uh, clipboard embellished with the honey. And then, because that's going to take me so fast to do. Another thing I bought at Home Goods is this frame. And this was on clearance, so it was like $10. So here's a, um, this is something you can consider doing. Home Goods is fantastic. Home Goods, uh, Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, T uh, Tuesday morning, they all have fabulous frames that are very inexpensive. So I'm gonna take this frame, um, Mr. Crafty put the command strips on it so it can attach to the wall, but I'm gonna take the glass out of it and I'm gonna do a scene on here. Um, I bought this vintage paper from eBay and it's like, it's from like 1902. This is a ledger book that someone used to record. It looks like they were drivers, like people that were driving, like hauling things for them in 1902. And they were recording what they were paying them, which was like a dollar. So it's like, really old and vintagey and I thought this would make such a cool background the background paper and then I have a bunch of like chipboard pieces and I'm just going to create a little scene with a different honey and use this to hang on my wall so I wanted to do that to give you an idea of ways you can use some of your scrapbook elements your stash um vintage ephemera and make framed pieces that you could give to a friend make for your kids room, um, do for your, maybe you kid going to college, but something really cool for the wall, like something, you know, special and, um, using supplies that you might already have. You could get frames at th the thrift stores. Um, so I just, I've been meaning to do this. Uh, I bought this frame for this project. So I thought to myself, you know, you may as well just do that on the late night crafty club because then you'll actually do it and get it done and check it off your list. So, Mr. Crafty, I am ready for you to move the camera. And I'm going to show you guys this. Before I do the crafting, I'm just going to show you guys a couple of the printables. And then we will jump into some crafting. Hi, Michelle Spencer. Sarah asks a very important question. Are all liquids and candles cleared? <laughs> <laughs> How rude. 
Those are very important questions. Thank you, Sarah. You are, you are officially the safety monitor for the Late Night Crafty Club. That's so I, I do have my, um, oh, is the camera on? Yeah. What did I, what I haven't, I? I haven't connected it all the way through yet. Oh, okay. Okay, there's like a big delay and I'm confused. Like, what's happening? Um, but I do have my ice water here. But it's got a, a lid on it, so I'm safe. There you go, sweet girl. Okay. Michelle Durham says she spies a little bit of sparkle. And yes, that is true. So I just wanted to show you guys. I don't have like a super elegant way of, of sharing this. <laughs> so let me show you. Okay, so here is the Sparkle Lister's Got a List kit. Sparkle is our newest collection that's going to debut on Monday, one day earlier than normal. And um, all of the kits now have these great labels so that you can put them on a... Um, uh, okay, so, so that you can store them in... A file box it comes with a little uh, label for the tab and then it comes with a label for the folder so this is the one for sparkle and so here are the prompts you get the punchable prompts here you can punch with your um, the infamous ticket punch and then there's the prompts themselves here is the fun little decor. Now I had Mr. I asked Mr. Crafty to do this for me. Is um, printing it on sticker paper, and this is on cardstock. And then it comes with listing pages, which Mr. Crafty just um, he just printed one sheet just to demonstrate. But you get a whole um, a set of these pages so that you can do uh, you can add to your handbook that we started in Camp Reset. And they're really easy to do your listing that way. And then here are the little numbered um, pieces that you can number your lists. And then here are the cards. I, Mr. Crafty was so sweet. He cut them out for me. So I'm just going to go through them and you can see. So we make these very list friendly so that you can use them to actually create your lists on. And as you can see, they have the fabulous little vintage motif on them. If I can do this faster. It's the most wonderful time. There we go. Picking up my speed here. So super cute, simple little cards that you can. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, Franklin Fairley. So there's, there's the right way. And then isn't this one so precious? She is so flippin' adorable. I love this. So that's one of the, the honeys. And then this is this glorious babe right here. And then we have, may your days be merry and bright. So that is the Lister's kit. So I'm already done with that. And then this is, oops. And then here, let me show you. This is the, the little, um, this is the honey bundle. So look how adorable these honeys turned out. They are all dressed for the party. They are, they are dressed wearing a TRG patterns and colors. They've all been altered and they are ready to get their sparkle on. They are absolutely adorable. And I had Mr. Crafty print these on the nice matte sticker paper. Isn't she? Look at her. Look at her dress. Look at that dress. Miss Kelly Bangs um, embellished and added the little extras <laughs> like this. Her little bag. Isn't that cute? So they are all ready for the holidays. So you can just get this little set. This little honey set is uh, on its own. And then this is the Crafty Club kit. I wanted to show you. This is the last thing to show you. So here's the label and the label for this one. And this time around, it comes with paper. So it's a six by six sheet of paper. And then these are washi strips. So this has all been printed on cardstock so that you can cut these out and then attach them. But so you have some paper to actually decorate with and craft with for the holidays. How cute is that, you guys? So this is what the Crafty Club kit has this time around. It's fun to kind of switch things up and give you guys new things to work with. So look at those birds. Aren't they super precious? Love it. These are from... I think these are from two years ago, like the, the uh, very classy Christmas. 
And then this is glitter, which I think it looks better when it's further away, but it's like pink glitter. So you can print this on transparent, like the clear matte sticker stock. You could do this on glossy stock, or you could do it on the, um, you know, the, the card stock like I just did. You also get two Dear Santa letters. How cute for your kids if you want to, or yourself. <laughs> so there's two Dear Santas. There is the fun little monthly calendar, and then you have the Crafty Club Bingo, which these um, prompts are designed to help you use your kit. So they prompt you to do and create different things using your kit. Here are the little bookmarks for this year. So you could punch these, like cut them out, punch them and put them in your December daily or your planner or your Bible or your just reading a book. Isn't that adorable? My favorite. I love them. So what's fun about these, you can print them on cardstock and then just, you know, cut them out. Or you could put like scrapbook paper on the back of them and then laminate them so they last longer. Here are your fun little lists for the month. So you have your gratitude list and get it done today in the shopping list. You could print multiples of these if you wanted to. If you wanted to, you could also like print a lot of them and cut them and glue them at the top and turn them into individual little notepads. And then here's a little printable for you to print and cut out. You can use this as a dashboard. You could frame it. You could hang it on your little, um, your board. And then here are the three by eight journal cards, which are actually lists for listing. And then you have the punchable honeys, which come in the kit. So it's a pretty robust kit this, this month. And these are all the fun girls in here, which I had all of these printed on this, the matte sticker stock so that I could just punch and stick. So you could totally make gift tags for Christmas presents or Christmas cards. You could make little ornaments with these. So this is going, this is the Sparkle Crafty Club kit. Every month we have a kit for the Crafty Club that you guys, the Reset Girls Crafty Club. So this is the signature kit for that. So that's it. It, it is debuting on Monday um, along with a Cyber Monday sale that we are running for Cyber Monday. And then you will also find in the um, shop, I believe they're available now, um, we have this fun printable and it's free. This is a countdown, a sheet of countdown stickers for our winter camp. So dating your goals, the summit, this is, these are the stickers. So you can print these out and put them on your, uh, in your planner counting down, um, from just, let's see, December 31st, wait, no, <laughs> December, counting down from December 1st, all the way down to the end to December 31st, because January one, we will be, um, we will be open for business. The, the Reset Village will open. You guys will all come streaming in. And so I just thought it would be fun. So these are free in the store, I believe. They should be. <laughs> and um, they're just to remind you that it is counting down to January 1. So, um, Kathy, you asked about the Faithful Life. I'm just showing a couple things. All of, all of the kits will be available on Monday. I just wanted to um, share with you guys. A little a little sneak peek of what is going on in the next um, December 1st we will be having an all-day day of crafting live videos all day the girls will be using these printables so you can see all the super fun things you can do with them sometimes it's hard when you have a printable and you just really don't know um, you don't know all the things you could do with it even I will look at printables myself and be like I don't know so um, no Linda there is a faithful kit I just didn't show it there is a faithful kit, everybody. <laughs> I just didn't show it during the show, but there is one. Everything is the same, um, just like normal. I just am not going, taking the time to do the whole thing. And we actually are going to have a special advent um, crafting, uh, a little craft for advent. And that will also be debuting um, in the store as well. Um, I'm probably going to do a separate video for that to show you, um, what I, I will be doing. 
what I will be doing for Advent because that is um, one of the uh, things that we talked about um, in the First Love Club podcast was Advent. So that inspired me to make an Advent kit. So next Saturday is the very crafty um, Christmas live event on Saturday, December 1st. And then we will go through, um, all the girls are doing something. Patty um, Radish is actually going to do an Advent craft. Um, I think there's, if you guys are in the, the faith, the, uh, the, <laughs> the reset girls crafty club, if you're in the Facebook group, you will see my post. I posted it earlier today and then you will see, um, the schedule of events for that day. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this craft first cause it's the hardest one and I want to get it. I want to get it done because I don't really want to, this is not very inspiring to look at this <laughs> all day. Um, um, and Karen, I don't know that answer because I haven't seen all the things the girls are making. So I don't know, but, uh, we offer the, the kits every month. We offer the, all the, the same kit. So there will be pictures. We, if you look in the past, collections that we've offered. There's pictures of how um, people have used previous kits that can be very inspiring. So here's my little template I'm going to use for cutting because it already fit here. And then I'm going to pop out this glass because the glass adds weight. And I want to make elements on here that are more dimensional. So what I need is something to ba be the backing of this instead of just this paper, which I'm trying to think. I saw a piece of cardboard earlier today. Okay. I have my, <laughs> I have my, uh, there we go. My little suitcase that I keep a bunch of stuff in random things. Let's see. I don't know if this is, yep, that'll work. Okay, so I, fa I happen to have this little piece of chipboard, so I'm going to trim this down. Okay, so I'm going to trim this down using the sheet that comes in, in your frame. Like they usually have some kind of advertising or something. So I'm just using that. I want to create a backing that's more um, stiff than a piece of just a plain piece of like this paper is super thin. Okay. So this will become what I adhere the artwork to when it's in here. And then I'm probably going to have to do something to make it. Um, no, I don't because the, this backing part will hold it down. So I'm going to move the frame and the backing away for a minute and I'm going to decorate directly on here. So here's our little elephante. So the first thing I want to do is assess my paper situation. So this is like from eBay that I bought. And so what I was thinking I would need to do is perhaps I would have to do um, like some scrapbook paper because it's not exactly wide enough, which is fine. So I just needed to, I need to find paper that would be like really great for this project. I personally, this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite patterns um, from Crate Paper. And the girl that I want to use is from this magazine and she's absolutely adorable. Plus I love, love, love her dress. The color of it is amazing, and she's going to look awesome in this frame with her that color, which is often how I end up picking certain girls is based on what they're wearing. So I think what I'm going to do is just cut her out. And yes, we scanned her first <laughs> because um, she's irreplaceable. So we scanned her. And so I could just cut her out and not worry about her. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut her out, trim all the white part away. Okay. 
This frame came from Home Goods. But you can find frames at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, Home Goods, uh, Ross, the thrift store, Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Sometimes Michaels and Hobby Lobby are good places to find frames, especially when you have a coupon. Okay. Whoop, whoop, whoop. As we get closer to camp um, launching, which will be January 1, um, I will do my best to have something. But the point is, this is how I want you guys to look at this. You don't have to be all ready for camp on January 1. On January 1, you the doors are going to open and, you know, all of the paid camp attendees are going to settle into their cabin, just like we did at Camp Reset. You're going to get a week to get prepared. And then every week we're going to talk about a new theme. And all of the weeks are designed to prepare you to really, like, um, get new resources and tools to help you adjust to to if you don't have a goal, that would be a good time to like really think about what you want to change about your life. But also, you know, the different tools like picking a word, um, picking the right kind of planner supplies, you know, you'll have time to kind of do all those things because the whole point of this camp is not for you to like feel like a, a, a gun, a starter gun just shot off and you guys all have to be ready and race, race, race to the finish. This is going to be about slow planning. We want you to be successful with achieving your, your goals. So every week we're taking our time to learn new tools, new ideas. We're going to do some fun activities and in, in our, you know, in the same way that we kind of had some fun activities during Camp Reset. So please don't worry that you guys need to um, be too prepared um, for any of that because that's not how I want that's that's not the way I want you to feel what's a good thing to think about right now is um, you know asking yourself like what kind of planner maybe some of you guys are at a point where you're ready to buy a new planner for next year I have you know that's probably one of the things I think that takes us the longest is trying to figure that part out is what type of planner will work for me so I kind of feel like in some ways it's perhaps a good thing that you might just start thinking about what planner you want. Um, and you can, I would say go simple for this kind of project is you want to focus on your, your goals and, um, on goal setting. And it's not about trying to achieve everything in this, uh, this camp. We're going to take our time. Our little mascot for dating your goals is going to be like the tortoise <laughs> slow and steady. And camp will be six weeks, probably. Um, however, I, I just said that, but I also think that what we, we are still kind of trying to decide what we're going to do, but the, the, all the materials will take about six weeks to go through. But then what we are considering is offering a, offering the opportunity to stay in the forum, to stay in the group all the rest of the year. And you would just pay a small monthly fee each month to have that that kind of group environment and be able to stay together as a group. Um, so I know there's a lot of questions about that. We just haven't worked out all the details and I don't like to tell you guys things and then that's not what ends up happening. So these are these are what we're kind of leaning towards. Let's let's just put it that way. OK, so I have here. Let's see, I really love this this uh, strip here, this little strip here, and oftentimes I'll try to find ways to keep them in my artwork. So one of my favorite things to do when working with my honeys is I love to do, like, well, working with any paper really, is I love to do like a half and half design. So I'll do like half of paper here and a half of a different paper there. Now the problem with that is that she is cut off in a funny way, so she has to be kind of like the way she's going to be cut and I'm going to use 
put this back in place is she needs to be so that her arm <laughs> comes here because she is deliberately cut like that. So she's kind of peeking into the frame and I wish this light wasn't, hang on a second, let me turn this light off there. That's better. I know it's kind of, it's a little darker, but at least you can see her better. The light was glaring on her and ruining her beauty. So she's kind of like tipped into the picture like that, which I actually kind of like. So there's doing it that way. The other way is putting, let me see here, is flipping the paper, having it be on this side. Hmm. No. No, because that's still not pretty. There's no way to get the... It's really cool to see the, the year. So maybe I don't really want to take that out of the picture. So perhaps it would look more like this, where I kind of make that the smaller part be the pattern paper, more of it be that. And then have this be right here. And she's kind of dipped down like that. Okay, so I'm going to just pretend that she's going to be in this position. Now I'm going to pull out, <laughs> which is directly under this, which that wasn't very smart of me. Okay, one second here. I'm going to pull everything out that I just put her on top of. Okay, so my one of my favorite things to work with is the little, I love these little pieces, but I never ever put stuff like this in my planner or anything, you know, because it's so thick and bulky. So this is the kind of project that I, this is why I buy these things is for this. I love the idea of making framed artwork with, with the girls. So um, something like this uh, is like ideal. You know, something where you're going to have the chipboard that's more dimensional. It's just a matter of finding the right piece. So possibly, I like this word journey. So that's a possibility to put it out right there. This is from Open Book. This is another Maggie Holmes I shouldn't say another because this wasn't, this was crepe paper. This is Maggie Holmes. So this would be an option. Out of this one, I probably will never use this girl. She's just like too precious. I'm, I'm officially hoarding her. Um, this one, I love the ampersand because ampersands. I love the camera. I don't think that one is necessarily right for this job. So that leaves this one, which is day tripper. Oh, sorry, that's not true. This is from this is called Open Road. So I love the colors here. This has got cute pieces in it too. For me, this is like, it has to be the most perfect piece ever. I do like this map and that would look really pretty on her. Um, I could put a banjo <laughs> in her eyes, in her, in her arm, um, in her eyes. Uh, there's a little speedometer. I like this, this good time sign that could be like cute right here. I don't know. This is going to be tough. Now I'm going to pretty much, I think I'm going to discount this one because the color palette is all wrong. She's very bright. She needs something bright with her, something that works with her or with the frame. So I feel like it's one of these pieces. Oh, so difficult. Um, I guess I should have figured this out before I did this live, huh? <laughs> You guys are all sitting there watching me. And I'm like, la, 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 la. Uh, another thing also to consider is using um, 
something even simpler, which is like this, you know, just putting one big word. Happy. That's a good one. A nice glittery word. What else do I got? Mm. Here's words too, but I don't know if these are... Let me see here. And then I have craft paper from, from Amy Tan. I got some stars, some hearts. Here's some of that. Memories. Ooh, these are my favorite. These are, I think these are Dear Lizzie, and they've got pink. I could probably come up with a word. Ooh, my word for the year. These are too plain. I don't think I want to, is black too stark? Yeah, it probably is. So that's like craft paper or the glitter words or these map letters, but I think that's too much green green. That doesn't really stand out enough for me. But the, the gold glittery letters would be amazing. Okay, let me I don't I can't even tell what these words are because they are double layered in here. Okay, so let's see what's in here. So we have the word beautiful, vacation. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Sunshine, favorite, celebrate, fun trip. Um I like the word beautiful and I especially like the fact that it like fits her little waist right here perfectly. Like the word beautiful going across there looks really awesome. So this sticker, when I look at it close, is actually two words. It's not joined there. So I think I like the word beautiful. I think that's very simple. Um, let me look here really quick and make sure I have the right paper. Is this the paper I want to look at forever and always? Okay. I will be the first to admit that I will buy big 25 sheet packs of scrapbook paper because I love it so much and I never want to change it so it stays the same forever in a day. Um, okay, hang on one second because I might like this a little bit more than the other. I just really like this uh, ledger paper, this paper with the words on it and I think like what other chance would I have to use something like that? And also, who's to say that this paper has to be like, what if it was like that? So it was more kind of like intentionally layered. I like the idea of using it in this because it's so old and I'm not sure what other project I can think of that it would be like so special. Hmm. Let's do this. I'm just going to test this out. So as I'm working on this, I want you guys to consider what a fun gift this could be. I mean, this frame cost me $10 and with scrapbook paper, stuff from vintage magazines, just scrapbook elements, a photo that you cut out of somebody, you know, you could take a picture and, and make it black and white, but you could totally make this for a friend, you know, one of your, your dear friends and make something really wonderful that they can't buy in a store, something really special. And now I can see that if I don't have something else on that, you will not be able to read that word. And what happens if I put it on her dress? 
Wow, you guys, I did not realize this would be such a hard decision. I really thought I'm just going to whip this out and it'll be done. And now it turns out that it's a little bit harder <laughs> to decide what to do than I thought. And I probably should have like figured all this out before I turned the camera on. But I guess I, I decided to wing it. Kelly Watson is a housewarming gift. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me see here. I'm still making decisions. Okay, I'm just grabbing just handfuls of paper down here and see what else, what other options I have. I love her. I love her dress. I think she just like pops. I think she's going to look beautiful on my wall. I'm going to notice her right away because I don't. Ooh, I love that. Like a Scantron sheet. That's fun. So this is really cute. So now I have this paper and it says multiple choice answer sheet. Now I've gotten completely away from the ledger paper. <laughs> okay, so now I'm sticking her in here. Now, part of me thinks it would be so funny to do this and then make a little quote right here that says like make the right choice or make good choices or um, something like that because it says multiple choice. Um, I think that's really fun. Okay, so I started out this whole thing saying that I wanted to use this, and I do, but now I'm really liking this better, <laughs> which always happens to me. I set out going, this is what I'm going to do, and then I change my whole mind. I change up what I think I'm going to do, but how can you, I can't help it when it looks so amazing. Okay, let's see. I found some more words in my stash. Giggle, smile, happy, laugh, amazing, create, love, make, hope. These are fun. These are from Freckled Fawn, and they're like foam, which, again, this is the perfect project to do anything that's got dimension to it. So all the stuff I usually avoid using because they're so thick, this is the one to use it for. So in this case, I could use this word make, like make good choices, <laughs> um, which by the way, that's a really good thing to be reminded of, which is something I learned at the couple's goal setting retreat we went to, you know, their whole premise is about doing one thing each day, just do focus on one thing. And so to me, that would kind of reiterate that is about making a good choice, making, you know, because it's one thing I should be doing instead of many things. I, I, I'm, I'm leaning that way right now. I wish I had like a bunch of different word stickers like this that were different words. I don't think I have that. Cause that would be fun. I did, but I don't. I don't seem to have as much stuff. Make, ooh, make memories. Here's the lesson that I've learned tonight is be prepared ahead of time to let you know what you're gonna do. Because right now I'm like, hmm. This word right, I like that. Talk's so fun. Ooh, 
What else is in here? I have you, me, hey, happy, details, captured memories, document, hello. I'm sorry, but these gold letters just seem like they would be amazing on this project. Like it would just be the star of the show. And clearly I don't really have a plan. I'm just, this is what I think. Sometimes when you look at these type of, um, words, it's just a matter of like what resonates, what little story does this tell for you? So that's how I think about it. So already right now, this multiple choice answer sheet. We all remember taking these tests when we were kids. And I remember the stress <laughs> filling these out and always having self doubt about which one was right. Am I right? Am I right? Is it this one or is it this one? And I'd think, well, is there a pattern somehow? I mean, I remember going through that, that pressure of making choices, you know, and we still go through all that, all those choices. And, um, <sighs> And I'm sorry, but oh, I just moved this. That word is perfect on her. Look, it looks like it was meant to be there. Like it's part of her outfit. Love. It fits perfectly around her waist. Is that like the cutest accessory ever? All right, you guys, <laughs> I cannot believe the reason why I'm going with this is just because of how perfect it looks on her. I, it, but it, it does. It looks amazing. All right. <laughs> so now when you guys see this thing hanging on my wall in one of my pictures or when I do like a tour, you'll remember how this little girl came to be and how perfect her little outfit was with this word. The thing that, that the Lord reminds us of every day is we're supposed to love other people. We're supposed to do things in love. I always kind of think of that, like when I see the word love on stuff, I always feel like it's a little cliche or overused. It's lost its meaning, but truly I feel like it just fell into place like it was meant to be. And then it just dawned on me that that is the tenant of our faith. That is the, the thing that we're supposed to walk out in our faith every day that in fact oh my gosh just this morning when i was reading my bible it said that you that you'll know them by their their love like you'll know a christian by how they you'll see it they don't have to tell you i'm a christian you'll see it by the demonstration of their love for other people and how they treat other people that just happened you guys that just i just came full circle <laughs> all right so um, that just, that just happened. I feel good about that choice. That is not at all how I plan to do this piece, but yet that's what happened. Here we are. So this is going to be, um, my lazy crafting way of doing this is rather than like try and measure things to like fit each other. What I do is I usually glue the target, which in this case is this is going to be my backing. And then I'm going to just lay this down on top of it. And then there you go, Miss Mallory. It is. It does. It feels like a God wink because I in no way, shape or form would have picked that word to do this project. But it she's wearing it. <gasps> she's wearing it. <laughs> and we choose love. Excellent, Nita. See, we're all on board. Meant to be. Okay, so I'm taking my favorite glue, whoop, 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 and gluing my, um, gluing my chipboard, which I happen to get this piece of chipboard in the mail. Um, sometimes when I buy ephemera, they'll use a piece of chipboard in the envelope to kind of like as a backing. Don't throw that stuff away. Keep it in your stash because you never know when you will use it. And here is an example. All right, you guys, my eyesight is so bad. I need my readers so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay. All right. I was kind of worried that, that I wasn't going to come to a, a decision on <laughs> what to put down on this. And it's so funny because look, it didn't, it did not end up at all like what I thought I was going to craft. 
And that, you know what? That is really great when that happens. Because I think you end up being a lot happier sometimes when stuff sort of organically um, starts playing out because you're picking up different things and looking at things differently. I just know that this piece of ledger paper I have from 1902 is going to have to be something special is going to have to be made from it. Something I'm going to have for a long time because we just don't come across stuff like that every day. You know, paper that old with handwriting from 1902. I think that is even before um, this. I think that 1902. If I remember correctly, that's even before... Um, a Tree Grows in Brooklyn. I think A Tree Grows in Brooklyn was set in 1905. Where's my bibliophiles at? Who knows that that story? Um, okay. So now we're going to get our girl on here. And I just want to double check this again. So she's going to be down here. All the way down. Just making sure. So I'm going to like... Ooh, yeah, I'm going to match the edge of her dress with this. So she'll be really tipped, which makes the word love. Okay, actually, I don't think it matters because this frame is so thick that she will... I'm actually going to, I'm going to make her lower. So I'm going to actually do it so that the bottom of her dress here matches that. I like things to be kind of off center and have a little bit more white space. Like I don't want, I wouldn't want something like kind of in the center. I like it being kind of like off and lots of white space over here. I just think it looks more fun. Okay. So we are giving her a new life. She's getting a reset. She's been moldering away in a magazine, probably in somebody's attic or garage or basement. And then maybe her original owner perhaps passed away and then they started clearing out her basement or her attic or whatever and they found all these things and they had an estate sale and someone bought it and then listed it on eBay and I came along and said, yay, <laughs> more honeys. And look, now this beautiful girl is being given a new life. Okay. So I am now trying to get her set here. I'm going to lift her up a little bit. Actually, don't want her tipped over that much. There we go. I'm using my frame as a guide. Okay. Okay. Now here is where I'm gonna add her. Oh, looks so pretty. I don't know. I'm loving it. Now, the last question I want to ask myself is this you had enough? It much lower than that the first time. What? You had it much lower than that the first yes, time. Yes, I I know, but I I'm kind of like basing it on that. And she's still fitting really well. I just want to make sure that was showing. So so one thing I am thinking I want to try is adding a little bit of washi. Now this is only in an effort to bring in a little bit of, like a little bit of color without disturbing. Okay, so let me try it. Although this is kind of the same color, so I'm not sure if this is the right washi to pick. Is there a wrong washi? any washi wrong. Let me see here. This is probably my, my favorite washi I have right now is this ticket washi.
Okay, I can't see what's happening in the chat room. I don't think the word moldering, I don't think I made that up. <laughs> I think it's a word. <laughs> um. Ah! This washi is not tearing right. Oh no. Ah! This is like, this washi is too precious to be tearing incorrectly. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to test that. I like it. It's very, it's a little bit, it's a little bit extra. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just pull the trigger and just put this letter, this word down. Thank you, Mallory. <laughs> um... She said moldering is a word. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this, but when I was younger, I read a lot of books um, that were like, you know, books that my mom probably read. And so I learned a lot of like more like grown up adult words and I didn't, um, and I never really practiced like saying them because I, you know, being introvert, we often think in our head a lot. So I feel like I have this whole vocabulary in my head. Um, but don't necessarily know how to pronounce the words or something. I'm starting to wonder if this is a backing or am I supposed to glue it? Because it almost feels like it doesn't even want to peel off. It doesn't feel that sticky either. It feels like the springtime right now. What time is it? Like the, let's see, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock right now, you guys. I have the windows open and it's not even cold. And it's almost December. That's crazy. It turned into spring and all the little ants woke up. So now we've got ants in the RV. We only saw them in the summer last year and now they're here because it got warm again. And they're like, Hey, Hey, <laughs> we want to come in Texas and their bugs. All right. This is taking way too long here. I don't know what is up with this. I don't know if the sticker is old or what. Please tell me I didn't ruin my sticker. Okay. All right. Okay. Everybody, everyone hold your breath. Am I getting it on right? Ugh. No, tell me this is not so. Okay. There we go. All right. All right. The whole reason why this word is <laughs> got chosen is because of the way it was laying on her dress. And now it's all wonky because I couldn't get the backing off. All right. Okay. It's all right. The world is okay. It's all right. Now, I am going to I just saw this word strip and said she's happy. Hang on. Let me see what happens if I put it under here. Do I like that more? Uh, okay. So I have these fun stamps. Look how fun these are. Look, it's a Tokyo train stamp. And then I have these and I'm obsessed with them. I love them so much. So I think I'm going to use this stamp on here, which is taking a super big risk. Now and make sure that I'm even going to see it when I do it. Okay. <laughs> Autumn. Yes, I would agree. Um, I did not realize how buggy the state of Texas is, but every time we arrive in Texas, it's like within minutes, there's bugs in the RV. We never see them, 
Uh, but Texas is like immediately you have bugs. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's see. Looking for a stamp pad. Please hold. <laughs> Trying to find my stamps. Ah, ah. It was almost a collapse. I almost lost my... So this is Old Road, which is a really um, kind of a, by Kelly Bangs. This is kind of a um, charcoal, so it's very subtle. Love you too, Miss Kelly Bangs. Okay. All right. I'm going in. Luckily, with a stamp like this, if it's not... Um, if it's not perfect, it won't matter because it's kind of an imperfect stamp in the first place. And it just adds, I feel like it just, it adds like a little bit of texture is what I like to call it. Let me trim that off. Okay. And then I'm going to flip her over and then I'm going to trim her dress so that she'll fit in my frame. And then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double check the chipboard stickers again because I want to see if there's any like smaller piece maybe that would look really good with this, like a small detail. Now that I've gotten a little bit more color, I want to be really careful how I add things. I don't want to like overdo it. So um, I'm talking about like these smaller pieces like these, like something really little. Uh, do any of these make sense? That's pretty fun. That says Texas, which is where we are. Um, that little bottle says. So this is sort of like a story where we are. traveling. We're going on a journey. Is that the, it's more like a day trip. So let's look at these. Well traveled. See, I like that a lot. Isn't that cute? This one says traveler, detour. This is the speed limit here in Texas that makes me crazy because I don't want to drive that fast. <laughs> I feel pressure to drive the speed limit here. I don't know why, but it, I feel like I'm driving way too fast. Like that is just a really fast speed. That little feather is, um, I'm really digging that. I also like these gold arrows. I just like the subtlety. I also like these little feathers. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this out and I'm going to just, I'm going to test a couple of these. I love the map of the United States. So I'm going to start with this because this kind of like is catching my eye. I love how graphic it is. It's such like a, you know, kind of a, a statement piece. I hear dogs barking. Um, ooh, they're really barking out there. How about this arrow, this long? I can't, you won't know. I mean, I don't know what other reason I'm going to use any of these things. It's like an arrow. No, don't like it. I don't like it the way I thought I would. I might just like leave it at this. This just might be enough. I, I keep thinking it's, I'm going to like something else, but I'm not... Nothing else is jumping out at me. Okay, let's try this. Take the seam root. Oh, but you know what? The frame is an important consideration. 
because it might prevent that from showing. Just want to make sure. Okay. Good night, Suzanne. The tolls are 80 miles per hour, Darlene. Are you, are you serious? Seriously. <laughs> and I wouldn't say like I drive, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think I drived like super cautiously or anything, but it just feels crazy fast to be on a road. That's like a road with houses on it and be told that you have to drive like 60 miles an hour on it. That just feels crazy to me. Like what if somebody's dog ran out in the street or something, you know, like that's what, that's what I fear. So all these like roads here, all the farm roads here in Texas, they make me nervous. All right. I'm just not finding the right piece. But here's the thing I just realized because there's no glass in here and it's going to be exposed. If I, I feel like she should be looking at something too. There should be something here. I have this choose happy, but it's really, I don't know. I have detour. I have traveler. I have this little banner that says have more adventures. So I would, if I were doing it, I would kind of like that. I don't know. I'm not sure if that is the answer. So I'm thinking that what I might do is just kind of like leave it alone for now. And if something else kind of pops into my mind, or I see something I like better. How about here? This will be the last thing I try. Hey, Hannah Marie, I see that you're popping, you're spending time with your man popping in and out. That is totally fine. And yes, I think a lot of us have been missing some crafty time lately. I have not been crafting. I have been, I don't know what I've been doing. I feel like what I'm doing is like mentally preparing, working on the camp thing. And I don't feel super crafty right now because I feel like I'm working, I'm supposed to be developed. I'm in development. <laughs> so this feels too crowded. This feels kind of strange that it's kind of floating up here. So so I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to leave it for right now and just come back to it because I can always change that later. I do not have any glass in this frame. So if I decide to add something, I can. And now it has a picture. It has something to look at that's not the picture that came with it. And somewhere in here, the backing is... Okay, so I'm just going to stick this backing in here. Press down the little pieces. Oh, okay. So there, she's now in her frame. And it's kind of, it's kind of quirky. I love quirky. Um... Quirky is good. Okay, but that is fun, the idea of doing that. So um, I think that's kind of fun. So I'll put that there or right here. So it's like super dimensional. Okay. <laughs> Just, I don't know. I don't know what to do. So 
let's see what happens if I do this. Is that weird looking? Kind of. It kind of is, a, well, no, actually it's not obliterating. So if I hold this up straight, you can actually see it still says multiple choice. And that's honestly all that I cared about that was, you know, showing there. So, um, you guys are so helpful. Uh, I love how the little, these little chipboard pieces though can attach here and you can move them and how about that? I don't. looking at the other on this particular set this one intrigues me I love this that says good times and that would be kind of fun if it was right here oops right here um, but I, I feel like we have okay I think I'm going to stick here and let this resonate. All right. I'm going to put those back. Oh, they're obliterating my stamping that I did. This is becoming a group project. <laughs> Okay, so and then there's one thing I want to do is I want to stomp it. What's today? Today is I want to stamp it. I want to make a mark on it. Okay, so it's 2018, right? And it's November. I can't even see what that it says. Okay, I'm holding it upside down, so that <laughs> that wasn't helpful. <laughs> okay, boy, I don't know what I was doing before readers. I did not realize how much I wasn't seeing. Okay, so it's November twenty third, and. Okay, is an imperfect stamp, but it's okay. And then what else do I want to do? I think that's it. I think I'm belaboring this. So I'm going to go hang this up on the wall. Okay, you guys are going to hear the little snap as it gets attached to the... <laughs> I'm literally attaching it while the show isn't going on. You hear that crunch? That's the command strips. Okay, now, this will go much faster, <laughs> I promise. Okay, so on this one, here's the glass I'm not using. Okay, so for this girl, all I want to do is just, like, attach her to, um, I'm just looking for the paintbrush. There we go. Okay. So with this honey is I want to attach her to the clipboard. And again, this is another type of craft that you can easily make for your kids um, or a friend or like for your office space. So she's kind of a tall honey. I want to get her on here so that like she's kind of like probably about that. And I think with her, I think I'm just going to glue her down. Probably, I'm so used to using my little glue stick. I think I'm going to, okay, this is what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to tack her down a little bit with some glue stick. And then I'm going to just paint her. Where's my brush? There we go. Okay, so I'm using a Martha Stewart brush that I've never used before. I've had it in my stash forever. And a container of this collage medium that I've also never used, and hopefully it isn't too old. <laughs> I literally just 
opened the the lid tonight. Okay, I'm brushing the back of it to make it stick. Okay. Okay, so now that I have her attached, now I'm going to brush over her with my collage medium to make her stick permanently like a sticker. And hopefully this is like gonna seep through her outfit. And ooh, that wants to bubble up. <laughs> I'm pressing it with my fingers because now it wants to bubble a little bit. Now, um, I'm going to flip it over just like I, this is how I usually cut things after I've glued them down is I usually flip it over and then trim it from the back, which is usually paper, not this thick ch chip, not chipboard, board, but it worked. So I'm going to pull this up one last time and hopefully I don't, I'm going to, for whatever reason, the bottom portion keeps bubbling up. But it's like now is the time to do something to her if you're going to do something to her. I think if I keep doing it anymore, the paper is going to tear because it's like not liking it. Gentle. Oh gosh. I would be so sad if I ripped this honey. She's so pretty. All right. I think we're just going to live with her. Whatever, whatever happens now, she's on her own. Okay. And then the other part of this particular craft is I was going to put a, oh boy. Whew. Okay. Didn't lose it. Okay. So I wanted to put a little quote and you know how I love doing things like word strips, you know, the little, like a little, um, like a little word strip, like a little fortune cookie strip. I want to do that here. So I'm going to cut, cut this. Like so. So sometimes, you know, I, I just need a clipboard to use. Um, and now I'll have a cute one that I kind of embellished um, when it's just attached to the wall and it's just hanging out literally. Now it has something cute on it. And then if I want to attach, you know, like a, it's holding paper or something, then I can use it for what it was meant for. But in the meantime, it at least is, it has something cute going on. I kind of like it being a little bit imperfect like that. Um, Usually with word strips, I tend to like printed words, like, you know, like a regular text. I'm not, I don't necessarily like scripted script, but I wanted to test it out and see which one I liked more. So 
Wash brush right away, Julianne says. All right. You want me to wash it for you? Yes, you are so sweet. And um, it appears, you guys, that uh, there are no, it's not bubbling anymore. I don't see any little bubbles. But I will definitely be better prepared next time. Oh, you know what, Mark, can I have that back, please, honey? As soon as I said that, I just noticed that along her sleeve, she is lifting. I love collaging, but boy, am I terrible at following directions and rules. <laughs> and you just said use a, a card. I definitely have a card right here. Okay, so I'm, it was what I'm gonna do. I'm just, never mind, Mark. You can do what you're doing. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do it with this, like scraping paint. And if I'm doing it wrong, <laughs> which I might be, you guys could be all perfectly horrified watching me. No, stop! I will be the first to say that I'm very lazy when it comes to crafting, and I often don't measure things, and I cut corners. I'm the first to admit it. I often don't do things the way you're supposed to. And this might be one of those times. Okay. But thanks for the tip. My Martha Stewart brush has, I believe has been saved. Mr. Crafty, excellent job, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Did you pick the movie you want to watch? Okay, perhaps you should pick your movie. Okay. So, yep, I'm going with my gut. I like that better. Karen says, measure, measure. I don't do it either, right? <laughs> Measuring is for, for, for chumps. <laughs> Good night, Miss Patty. Okay, so let's see here. On to this, which would be getting these down. Okay, so should I? I am just, I'm just going to continue with this theme, which is <laughs> to just smear it all with a card. What could go wrong? So it's really a matter of, now this one's going to be interesting because I used a printer. I bought a new printer, a new color laser printer, um, which I had one I loved. We left it behind uh, in Washington when we first left because it was kind of, it was really big and I was thinking I don't want to give up that much space. And then after a year of using my, the little inkjet printer, I really missed my laser jet a lot. Um, so we went on the hunt to see if we could find a smaller laser printer and that one I could use for like, um, cause often I have to like print out different materials, um, that I'm testing like the handbook and printer, not printer, planner inserts, stuff like that to make sure that they work. Um, stuff for like our workshops that way we could we don't have to take them to like a professional printer so it would, it would be something you'd want to like look good so we are I have one now it's by HP and I I really like it but I'm not sure how laser print works on with matte medium but it seems like it's pretty okay so Good night, Miss Natalie. Good night, good night, good night. I feel like we need to do the whole uh, farewell. I need to learn that song. In fact, that should be our good night song. <laughs> we need to have all kinds of songs in this club. Okay, guys. That is all I have to do with this one. So just to recap, when it comes to, you know, doing a, um, a gift for someone, this is a very, 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 could not be more simple. You could get a clipboard from Walmart and you could just like 
for your kids, you could take a picture of each of your kids and then you could um, get it on there with Map Medium and you could put like a little quote, a little scripture, their name, and then attach to the wall with the command strip so it doesn't damage your wall. And then they could have like, you could put stuff like, you know, stuff that they're supposed to take back to school, um, little notes for them. Oh, it could be like little communication boards. So that could be a cute little Christmas present you make. Um, this gel is so fun. Remember the Elmer's glue when you'd get it on your fingers and then you'd spend like the rest of class peeling it off and pretend you had lizard skin. Oh wait, was that just me? <laughs> okay. Ooh, get off, get off. Okay. All right. So where am I doing? I need my glasses. Okay. So Jackie says laser is what you want when using medium. All right. Good to know. And the other cool thing about laser is that it works so well with like, um, the foiling, which if I still had my, I don't think I kept my, um, laminator with me, but it does do the foiling really well. So just a thought girls that this could be a fun gift that you make for a friend or, uh, one of your kids or your kids, all your kids or your husband, everybody in the family, even the dog. Um, so I literally have wanted to do that for months and I finally, 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 uh, finally got it done. Now, geez, ah, <laughs> I'm trying to get something out of the, Ugh. Wow, that took an act of Congress to get that out of there. <laughs> okay, so here's the other clipboard I got. I got these both at Home Goods last year. Is that like not amazing? Oh, I love this one so much. So this one's going to need an extraordinary uh, one. And yes, Jackie, and you get a clipboard and you get a clipboard. So you can see here, I got that at Home Goods for $7.99. So they were, I bought, they had different versions of these. So I have had these on my wall in the um, RV, but I thought, you know what? I think that I needed to embellish, right? Isn't everything better than, um, everything is better when you embellish it. All right, so, okay. For those who missed the other one I did, um, this is the frame I bought for $10 at also at Home Goods. I took the glass out and then I just put backing of the scrapbook paper and um, a few embellishments. This is super simple, but now it's going to be so cute on my wall. So the fun thing about frames like this that are very thick, see how much space there is between the, the frame and um, the back is you've got all that space to add three-dimensional pieces like the chipboard or buttons or pom-poms or anything that has like dimension. So if you take the glass out, it almost is kind of like a shallow um, shadow box frame. And then you could add additional pieces like the chipboard. And chipboard is wonderful because it's so sturdy. Like look how sturdy it is. And it, you know, it has the, um, adhesive it on on it so you can easily just kind of pull the pieces and switch them around if you want I have no idea how long that will actually stick or stay or whatever so we'll just have to see how it goes but um I love this <laughs> and I love what it represents to me um I think this is fun this is actually growing on me I really kind of like it because it makes it even seem more dimensional um but you know it's always it's always easy to if I change my mind and take it off See, it feels like it wants to be there. But eventually, I might find something better. So I love the fact that this isn't permanent and I can um, take the chipboard pieces off and if I find something better. But this word love, it was meant to be on her. Like she's wearing it. She's wearing love. Okay, so I feel super productive. I did something super simple but very effective and it was on my list of stuff that I wanted to get done. 
and yay, everything is drying nice and flat. So she will be ready to go tomorrow. So tomorrow, um, Mr. Crafty, are you able to switch this around? Yeah. Thank you, sir. All right, so we're going to do the switcheroo now that I've done the crafting. Good night, Jackie. Boop, boop. Good night, Vanessa. Thanks, Patty Elaine. We are swapping. The camera is moving. Good night, Shelly. You can still talk, baby. Oh, look there. Well, I'm sorry. I'm just watching your hand. Your big bear your big paw. paw. Yes. Keep talking. I'm sorry. I'm just so busy watching what's happening here, and I can't see myself, so I'm forgetting what we're doing here. So, um, if you, you'll notice in the back that I look like I have a window right here behind me. <laughs> it's because the slide is still, like, it's it hasn't been pushed out. Um, for whatever reason, it got left. Oh, I know why it got left, um, moved in. So you'll notice how it looks a lot smaller behind me than it normally does. Usually I have more space. Um, so when we got here, it was so cold that it was easier to heat the space and keep it small. So that side is still moved in. So um, if we push a button, it'll actually slide out. Um, but I really like it. It makes it feel more cozy in here. It makes my space feel cozier. I love it so much. So, um... Are you just hanging out with me waiting because we're going to say the goodbye song? I thought, okay. I thought you were close. I, well, okay. I could be wrong, though. Um, it's happened before. I know. Because I, I just felt like I had so much to say. Um, so, what? just to recap for those of us who showed up a little bit later and missed the beginning of the show. Um, next Saturday night, we are having... I'm sorry. Next Saturday, we are having an all day starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. We will be having live videos every hour on the hour with the creative team from um, of TRG, and we will be doing a very crafty Christmas live event. The countdown timer is on our um, homepage. If you no, go exactly. to the resetgirl.com, at the very top, you will see our adorable little countdown timer for it, so you'll know exactly how many days, hours, seconds away you are from all the crafty goodness. The team will each be doing a craft. Um, I posted about it today in the Reset Girls Crafty Club so you can see the whole schedule of events and see what each girl is crafting. We will be using printables from the store. The Sparkle Collection, brand new Sparkle Collection, debuts on Monday, the 26th, Cyber Monday, and we will be having a store-wide sale on all previous uh, products. Um, and remember that a uh, percentage of our proceeds go to um, the widow's ministry uh, that we are currently staying at right now. So you are directly contributing to the betterment of uh, the lives of women who are um, grieving, who are hurting, and who have been handed a, a very um, difficult reset. So, so you're crafting <laughs> your support of our shop. You are literally making an impact by doing that. So, um, and we appreciate that. And we appreciate your support. You guys are always so wonderful to us. We are just, every day when Mr. Crafty and I say our prayers, we always um, thank God for you guys and that we get, we get to do this, you guys. We get to turn our camera on and you show up. It's like, how, how lucky of a girl am I? That that's all I got to do is push a button. And there you guys are, my friends, my crafty friends. And you guys get to talk to each other and we get to hang out. So next Saturday is going to be a big old crafty love fest. Um, each of my team members are going to be doing um, a live video. There will be a chat room for each of those live videos. So you can jump in. You can ask them a question. So get yourself, um, you know, Christmassy snacks. I have a Christmas outfit and Christmas accessories to wear for my crafting session because I mean, I'm, I'm going all out for it. So I'll be making ho, ho, ho honey ornaments for your Christmas tree. You got to see some honey crafting. This is just a preview of the amazingness 
So I will be doing some very simple honey ornaments for my Christmas tree. So if you'd like to get some honeys up on your tree, um, please join me and please uh, peek in. And if you can't be there for the live sessions, we will have replays available on the resetgirl.com. Um, I think that is everything. Sparkle on Monday and then Very Crafty Christmas next Saturday. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for showing up. I hope that you got inspired with this very, very, very simple and budget-friendly craft. Um, keep your little peepers open for cool frames at the thrift stores, garage sales, um, going to those kind of discount home goods stores so that you can make something super fun and uh, for your kids, for your friends, for your office space, your craft space. Um, and then again, clipboards. Clipboards are our friend. So, um, so this has been fun. Thank you for letting me check that off my to-do list. And um, I, I honestly don't want to even say goodnight to you guys, but I think we it's time to go to bed. Wish us luck. Tomorrow we'll be getting up crack o' dawn to go to Whole Foods and shop with our our nutritionist. And we might live broadcast that. Yeah, we were actually thinking of going <laughs> doing a live on that one because there was a lot of people that that's, that wanted it. That's and, kind yeah. of fun. And he's he's fun. So he's gonna take us to uh he's gonna take us around Whole Foods and show us how to um, actually save money at Whole Foods, right? The store that most of us joke around is Whole Paycheck. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But um, we're going to be getting our healthy on. 2019, we're going to be healthier. We're going to yep. be smaller. <laughs> so we'll fit in this RV better. <laughs> that's going to be our goal is we're going to get smaller. In that, That's my word for the year, smaller. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I love you guys so much. And I hope that you have um, a very wonderful weekend. Get rested. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are running around j doing all the shopping. So don't forget us on Monday. Um, love your little faces, sleep well, and I will see you guys very soon next Saturday. Be, be ready to get your crafty on. And I, I hear, is our, is our song playing? Is it coming on? Mr. Crafty. I love your faces. Thank you so much for being part so of the Reset Community. Good night, everybody. Come out and play with me. And bring your dollies three, climb up my apple tree, knock down my rain barrels, slide down my cellar door, and we'll be jolly friends forevermore. Say, say, oh, play me, come out and play with me, and bring your dollies three, climb up my apple tree, knock down my rain barrels, slide down my cellar door. And we'll be jolly friends forevermore. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Play Bye. Come out and play with me. And bring your dollies three. Climb up my apple tree. Look down my rain barrel. Slide down my cellar door. And we'll be jolly friends forevermore. More, more. more, 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 more.